Hello, hello YouTube friends. Welcome to another video on using Microsoft PowerPoint as a design tool uh, for designing a space. And today I'm going to design a dining room on a low, lower budget, um, but we're going to get a high-end look hopefully. So I'm using this as an example. It is um, a, I believe it's a Toll Brothers plan. I don't know which plan it is. But what I like about this space is that a lot of us do have dining rooms that are kind of wedged in between two other spaces and they're kind of, you know, tucked away, but you do pass by them to get to other places. And, and so it's important to dress it up and not ignore it. So this dining room has uh, an option of a tray ceiling. We're going to ignore that and we're just going to call this a 10 foot ceiling. This room is 14, seven by 13, nine. So I'm, this is the 13.9 and this is the 14.7, I'm assuming. Um, and let's go ahead and get started. So first thing we wanna do is draw out our wall. And let's go ahead and get the rectangle tool from shapes, left click and drag it out. And just make any shape, you, you know, any size for right now. Um, let's get rid of this horrible blue color by right clicking, going to fill, and picking something else. And I want to get rid of this harsh line, so right click, right click again, go to outline, and then pick, you, you can pick either no outline or if you want something softer, you can pick a softer color. So this is our focal wall in the dining room. So that's going to be basically, I would choose this one because you can see it from, um, you know, as you're walking through. And so let's start. So I mentioned that we're going to be using Ikea, or maybe I didn't mention, I don't know. Um, but we are going to use some IKEA Besta units as our dining room buffet. And what I like about IKEA Besta units is that they are um, very reasonably priced, very flexible, and they come um, in some pretty cool options. So go to the IKEA page and type in Besta storage, and you're going to see all of these different um, different uh, configurations of Besta. Now Bestas come in boxes like this. They come in single boxes or doubles and they come in white, they come in black brown, and they come in this walnut color. And then what you do is you add your door onto them. Um, so if you type in Besta door, um, you come up with all of your choices here. So they come in plain, they come in the high lacquered look, the um, shaker look, if you like a little more traditional look, um, glass doors, this is a textured, um, it, it, they even come in like this kind of linen-y look, it's like, this is like a navy blue. Um, you have these beadboard look, even this concrete, and this one that I love, um, it's like a brushed gold look. So um, this is a quite, reasonable solution for um, for the space and you can see here the dimensions are 23 by 25 basically so we're gonna do a wall hung buffet across this wall and because we know the dimension of the Besta that's how we're gonna get started to scale this because there really isn't a way to properly scale this so let's go to insert shapes get the rect tangle tool and let's draw a box to represent our Besta and like I said we know that this is 25, 25 23 by 25 basically um, and so we are going to measure this so we have um, we need to have basically 14 and this is basically two so we, we're going to need seven of these so click on this control C control V three four five six 
seven. So now this is basically the 14 feet that we're after. So scale that back and same thing with the height. Two, four, six, eight, ten. So bring this down a little bit. Okay, like that. I'll get rid of these. Okay, so now I think what we will do is the black brown Besta. And you can go back to the Besta page um, and you can pick. Um, the door. The best is also come in a smaller size, um, which is more meant for TV units. So click on on this, and you can use the snipping tool by typing "snip" in your search bar. If you're on a PC, if you're on a Mac, you will need to download the app. But go to the snipping tool, press New, and go ahead and grab this. Now right-click it copy it, go back to your page, and you can paste it. Now we're just going to bring it down to the size of this. It's more or less, right? Um, delete that. So we're going to do wall hung on this wall. Um, let's give ourselves a little bit of a baseboard. So go to Shapes, Rectangle, and draw in the baseboard. We right click it, go to Fill, make it white or whatever color you want, Outline, change that color. Okay, so now we have our best unit. So now this is going to tell us how many we can fit and what's going to look good. So when you buy these, you're going to buy the box the rails to hang it on, the hinges, there's a shelf that goes in here, and the door. That's all separate. You can go online and do click and collect, or you can go upstairs to the um, where they do the kitchen cabinets and somebody can help you put this together. All you have to do is do your PowerPoint, print it out, and show them and they'll know what to do. So we are going to control C, control V. So there's our second Besta and our third Besta, and I think we can fit a fourth one. So these, like I said, these come in either doubles or singles, so you can get, uh, you know, get one that has two, two doors, or you can put four together. Um, I think it's easier to do the two. And incidentally, if you don't want to put these things together, you can use a service called TaskRabbits. Um, they are um, a, a company that IKEA will refer to come out to your house and put these together. So now we have our buffet hanging and um, I think maybe it needs to be a little bit lower so I'm just going to press shift and grab these and I'm just going to bring it a little bit lower. Okay, so remember this is 10 feet so this is a pretty pretty big um, pretty big space. So like I said, you know, when we're passing through here, it's nice to have some mirrors. It's nice to have a little sparkle and something a little bit special. So something I really like is, um, and look how cheap this is guys, come on. Um, I like to use the Nistal mirror. I don't know how to say it, but Nistal. And these are roughly the same size as the Bestas. How convenient. So they come in white or the black brown, the exact same black brown that we're using with the Besta. So go to your snipping tool and go to new and get right on there and grab that and right click it and copy it and come back. And there's a couple things you can do with this. You can if you don't want to buy art and you want more of a minimalist look, you can take these and these are, how much are these? These are like $24 each. Come on. All right. So you can take these and you can, let's control C, control V. You can either put 
them like this. And actually, I think realistically, we could probably do a third one if we lower this just a bit. Because I've done this before. So let's Let's do one, two, control C, control V, third one. And then if you don't want to keep clicking and cutting and pasting, you can just hold shift down and grab them and then control C, control V. And you can get your whole thing, move it over. Let's get rid of this. Delete, delete. Um, and again, hold shift down, catch them all, and then you can move them to where you need, want them to be. Now, you could go ahead and put a picture in, in the middle, like let's see what that would look like. I like to use um, Etsy for um, large artwork. Um, it's perfectly safe to order from Etsy. Etsy stands behind their, their vendors, and even though the vendors might be in a, a foreign country, you know, they're, they're very good. You know, they, they, they do deliver and they have, look at this, 1,167 sales and five stars. So you would just go here and select a size. And I would say probably, this is probably calling out for a 36 by 48, maybe it says sold out, but, um, Let's see what 40 by 30 looks like. Um, go to the snipping tool, get new. And I mean, that's a very reasonable price there. And we're gonna grab it. And we're gonna right click it, copy it. And we're gonna drop it in. And we're gonna reduce the size a little bit. And so this realistically is, because we know this is 25, so this is roughly the 40 wide. So that would be, that would be more like this, 40 by 54. And they've done it backwards, that's nice. Um, Okay, so back to our picture here. Now here's where you can play around a little bit. You can also, if you wanted to do something with color, you can pop that in and see what that looks like. I pulled this one up just so we could see what it would look like. Um, but let's grab it, we'll copy it. And that's the cool thing about PowerPoint is you just can grab things and stick them in here and see how you like it and if you're not sure like let's say we're not really sure about this yet um, we can just put it off to the side um, and we can think about it later so let's say we like this and and you know the knee stalls come also in a little bit tall uh, taller size so we could have done um, we could have taken this up and we could have done one tall one and then one shorter one up here and that would have looked cool. That would be a little bit more of a traditional look. Um, but, uh, and this, you know, this is, this is generic enough to, um, to go either way. So um, <clears throat> it's, it's just super easy. So, so these mirrors are $24 each. So this is basically 75, 75. The picture um, was, you know, for say 450 by the time you do shipping and all of that. And then these doors are $15 each. The boxes, I don't know, they're like, I don't know, 25 bucks each. Um, so very reasonable. All right, so now let's get ourselves a dining room table. So I found at City Furniture, um, and where, I'm not sure where in the world you live, but City Furniture is a very reasonably, well, they have some things that are very um, reasonable and other things that are uh, a little bit higher end. But this dark tone rectangular table 
is 400 bucks basically and it's a nice minimalist look and that is part of the high-end look is minimalist um, and then adding texture so let's oops my snip didn't quite work as I planned it so cancel it um, sometimes when you pass over it kind of goes wacky and you lose your snip so let's try it again new so we're gonna grab this and we're gonna right click and copy it we're gonna go back over here and we're going to paste it now here's where we are going to format this so we can get the background out of it so up here is a tab that says format you go to remove background now it's asking you what do you want me to remove so you drag out these cropping things and hopefully it gets the hint on its own if it doesn't then you'll just go mark areas to keep or mark areas to remove so we're going to say keep the changes and we're going to bring this down and you can see this table has a leaf in it um, and it is the dimensions on this table are 78 by 30 so the leaf is probably giving it another um, it's probably giving it enough making it like 96 something like that so we know that this is um, two four six eight um, eight feet so this is about right for our table now if you wanted to you know we know this is the table that we that we want we can because this isn't the perspective isn't perfect we could just go ahead and do insert shapes grab a rectangle and we could just make a rectangle like that and we can move it like this and we can get another one here that and control C control V bring it on over and we can right click this go to the fill go to the eyedropper and we can pick up this wood tone isn't that cool right off of that table so we can do the same thing here right click it go to fill the eyedropper pick up that wood tone same thing here fill eyedropper pick up the wood tone now we still have a blue outline which is very annoying so all we have to do is go right click go to outline and we can say no outline right click outline no outline outline no outline okay so now we have a table that works a little bit better than that one um, so now we need our chairs so back to my friend city furniture um, what you want for like a high-end look like I said this is kind of the restoration hardware look its textures with clean lines and warm um, tones contrasted with cool or light tones so um, this is like a linen beige look so let's grab this with our snipping tool oh see it did it again cancel new grab that right click it copy it and again very reasonable if this stupid thing would move we could see how much it costs $199.95 very reasonable okay so now we right click it paste it we have to format it again so we go to remove background we bring up this 
we pull this over and it's pretty much picking up what we want. You could be, if you want to be a little picky or you could go to mark areas to remove and see if you can get rid of this if you wanted to. But say OK and shrink it down. So it's going to be about like that. Maybe a little bit bigger. Uh, okay, now the chair needs to be show behind this table. So all we have to do is click on the table, table leg, I guess. Let's move the chair. Click on the table leg, right click it, and we say bring to the front. So now our chair just slides right in there. Okay, so now we need another chair over here, but we need it to be flipped. So let's do Control C, Control V, bring it over, and we go to Format, go over here to the Rotate, and we're going to say Flip Horizontal. Okay, same thing here. Click on this leg, right click it, say bring to the front and our chair slides right in there. And you could do the same thing with if you want to visualize all the chairs here, um, but you get the idea. So now we need a chandelier and we're just going to go back to the internet. And a company that I really like is um, called Shades of Light. and the reason I like them, and they aren't sponsoring this in any way because I don't have any sponsors, um, I, I really like their, um, they have a curated collection, a little bit of everything. So, <clears throat> for example, and very good prices, and we really need a pretty large chandelier for this. So maybe you might not think six fifty is a good price, but for a 40, I think it's 45 inch wide chandelier, that's a pretty good price. Um, you know, if you really want to, um, you know, you you can do a less expensive chandelier if you want, or a more expensive, like this is $4,430, but I guarantee it's spectacular. Um, you can, you know, go lower on the chandelier, but I promise you, you're not going to find anything that's large enough for this table um, that's you know, under probably five hundred dollars. Um, if you can't really can't afford something in this price range, what you can do is you can do you could do a big white drum shade. Sometimes they are fairly inexpensive, like a couple hundred dollars. And what you would do is you would just you can represent it by just uh, probably like that big um, by making this filling it with white outline is going to be gray and then you would it would hang like right about here and you would just draw your line for the the the, um, the wire um, drum shades always look nice but like I said we want a little bit of sparkle we want these mirrors to pick up some of the um, the lights. So I really liked this one, even though annoyingly it doesn't have a straight on picture. Um, but I love that it is, um, it's um, 45 inches wide. So if this table is 96, then it's, it's basically half, you know, half the size of this table. So that's really what we need and it's got a great price, like I said. So um, basically what we have to do is just snip it. Ugh, annoying. Snip it, grab it, right click it, copy it. Go back to our PowerPoint, paste it, format, remove the background, and pull this down, that, and that. And, like,
like I said, it's annoying that it's off, um, it's a little off kilter there, um, but it would be roughly like that. Yeah, that really doesn't look so good. I mean, um, this is perfect for this, but I mean, presentation wise. So what you can do is you can go ahead and right click this and crop the picture down like that. Okay, then we can, can we rotate this? I'm sure we can. Let's see, rotate. Um, we can rotate it by degrees, yep, clicked it to five degrees, so it's a little bit straightened out, and the perspective is not perfect, but it's better, and we're going to put that there, and then we can insert a shapes, we can do a line, and we can just draw our line like this up, and we can right click the line, and we can go to the outline, and we can make the weight of the line much thicker, and we can even change the color to something close, closer to what it actually is. So that's pretty much it. And then this picture, like I said, if you want to play around, you can see what, uh, you know, what other things look like. You can, um, you could actually, like I said, if you didn't want to do any artwork, you could go ahead and do, um, hold shift down, grab these, control C, control V, and put them there, and another one, and then, so then what you would have to do is, um, you would have, you would have to have, hold your shift key down, and, oh, sometimes things get stuck, so hold your shift key down and grab these and bring them over, and same thing here. So this would likely expand beyond a little bit beyond the um, the buffet. So it's great storage, easy solution, inexpensive. So you know down the line when you change your mind about what you like, you're not going to be so heartbreak broken. Now see this is gone behind there. Right click it, bring it to the front there. And then what you could do is on the other wall, yes, this is good. On the other wall, you could do two of these. So you would just control C, control V. You would put them like that on the opposite wall and they would be picked up in this, um, in this mirror here. So I hope you found this helpful and please subscribe to my channel if you did because I love doing these and I will be designing more rooms and showing you how to use PowerPoint to pull them all together. And incidentally, you can also go to insert text. You can add your text here if you want, if it's for a client. You can make it super large. You can make it bold. You can change the um, the font. You can also, if you wanted to, you can go to more colors. Pick any color you want. You can also, um, I think you can change Let's see. You can change it to um, a little bit more uh, faded out tone there. 
um, and you can even put your you know your information your logo whatever in the corner um, you can also save this as a PDF by going to file um, save as uh, I'm sorry file export PDF so that's it I hope you enjoyed this and uh, please again uh, like it if you did, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you in the next video.